Have you ever played a popular game like Fortnite or Apex and after hundreds or thousands of hours you get a special skin that is really rare and only a few people have this skin and allows you to boast yourself above others in game as you record yourself smashing on others with an epic skin on your character or weapon which makes your trolls that much sweeter. Now, what if you could take that skin off of Apex and Fortnite and trade that skin on an open market and make some money? What if you could reach a certain rank where you could customize your gear and make completely unique skins just for you to play with in game? What if you were able to play a game so much that you could create a business by creating your own in game skins and selling them on an open marketplace? Hey everybody, Skylar here, and in this video, we are going to be talking about non fungible tokens or NFTs and what they are. But before we go forward, if you are new to this channel just know this channel is directed towards newer people to the space everything I make from this channel that YouTube gives me goes straight to charity so every single like and subscribe absolutely goes a very long ways and just know I do live streams every single Sunday on that note I make this channel for new people so if you are brand new to the space liking and subscribing absolutely isn't a bad idea but let's get going on with the video Now before we get started about what non-fungible tokens are, let's talk about the difference between fungible and non-fungible. So essentially, fungible is something interchangeable, meaning one unit is always the same as another unit, like cold hard cash. One dollar in my pocket is worth one dollar in your pocket. It's the same. A barrel of oil is worth the same as a barrel of oil across the world. An ounce of gold is the same as an ounce of gold across the world. Same thing as a Bitcoin is worth the same as a Bitcoin. They are interchangeable and can be traded across evenly. Non-fungible means one of a kind unique items. There can be many of those items, but each one is unique, like a horse or a painting or a website or a crypto kitty. All the same objects essentially, but valued differently and looked at differently. Now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about what makes non-fungible tokens different from other tokens. A good example to use would be Ethereum. Ethereum has a token that's interchangeable and they also have an ERC20 token that allows other companies to build on their platform with interchangeable tokens. However, they don't necessarily have a token itself that is not interchangeable and that is unique. So they needed to create other tokens in order to do this. So a couple of new tokens were created on Ethereum called ERC721 and ERC115. Being built as an Ethereum standard allows it to have easier and quicker adoption in wallets, exchanges, games, apps, new projects, and more. The ERC721 was created by CEO of Engine Token back in June of 2017 by Dieter Shirley, who among other things was the co-creator of CryptoKitties. It was created to have a cryptocurrency that was unique and that there was only one unit in every ERC721 created and it's attached to a specific item forever. The first use case was CryptoKitties where people could create and breed digital cats that each looked unique. One of those CryptoKitties was sold for 253 Ethereum or around $110,000 at the time. The drawbacks to this though is it is expensive and it takes a very long time to do a transaction and it does bog down the Ethereum network. The ERC-1155 token was also created in 2017, which expanded on the ERC-721 and the ERC-20 token, and it allowed for fungible and non-fungible tokens to work on the same chain. This is where a game where Fortnite or Apex would come in. Some people would buy and some people would earn skins and potions and special weapons, etc. And those would be ERC-721 tokens. But you may want to buy some of those tokens with in-game gold and that in-game gold might be ERC-1155. You would need to use both of them in unison in a situation like that. Now where can you buy and sell your own fungible and non-fungible tokens? Well, there are many answers to that question, but some of the largest marketplaces are places like Engine. Not the largest, but since they are the creators of NFTs, I thought I would mention them first. This marketplace may have actually been the very first Ethereum-based NFT marketplace to go online. 
Rarible offers minting and marketplace services for NFTs. The marketplace has its own governance token called Rari. The interface allows users to set royalties, meaning that they can receive shares from every transfer of ownership and offers tutorials to help its users. Super Rare is an NFT marketplace that deals with unique digital artwork. Its interface is simple, it has social profiles, a mobile app, live auctions, and extended payment options. Decentraland. Now, this is a place in my inner child's mind eye I see turning into a Ready Player One type situation, and I cannot wait until this technology advances. It's a marketplace that provides in-game items and plots that can give people permission to add or edit that item and includes record of location, owner, content, description, and access control. Decentraland holds its own smart contracts controlled by its own native token called Mana, which has a governance built in. Wax is a marketplace I've known since before Bitcoin. I remember seeing a Counter-Strike skin sell for over $60,000 and it was the first time I started gaining interest in digital ownership. Wax Skin still operates on waxpeer.com for Counter-Strike skins, but has other marketplaces as well like wax.simplemarket.io, but more information can be found at their website at marketplace.wax.io. This is the token I personally hold and have been excited about for many years. Sandbox is a new game I'm adding in here because it will soon provide NFTs. This is a game that has been being built since 2011 and launched its token on Binance. This is a game I've been hearing about a lot on social media and a lot of people think it will be extremely successful. There are many games that have launched NFTs already and are, are more actively traded. Some of the big ones are Gods Unchained, Crypto Dozer, Mega Cryptopolis, and many more. CryptoKitties was one of the first major NFT projects that took off back in 2017. It was a game that created unique, breedable, collectible cats and you could trade and sell them on an open marketplace. This is a definite OG of the NFTs. Lastly, I want to bring up the largest NFT marketplace, which is OpenSea.io. They have over 12 million digital items across 700 assets selling anything NFT. Games, art, collectibles, virtual items, domains, and much, much more. Now. Before I go, I just wanted to quickly talk about a few projects that I personally like when it comes down to NFTs. Please do your own research in every project if you ever invest in, try to find both sides of the fence and find out why people hate it and why people love it and make sure that you are making the choice and not some YouTuber. Please be very, very careful. I'm really hesitant ever talking about these type of lists. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is Ethereum. Yeah, it's Ethereum, duh biggest largest market cap but I do think Ethereum will be over ten thousand dollars one day so it is one of those I just keep accumulating and holding and I love the project next project it's not essentially my second favorite but I am going to talk about it next it's wax I've known about wax since before crypto and it doesn't even need crypto to survive and they've been in the gaming industry for a very long time so I think they got their foot in the door when it comes to partnerships and I just really like the project personally Next project I want to talk about is Decentraland. Again, like I talked about at the beginning of the video, I just am really excited to see what's going to happen with this project down the line when it comes to what they're going to end up building for us. Next project is Luxo. If you do not know what Luxo is, I did make a video on my channel, but essentially one of the creators of the ERC20 token, which essentially launched the 2017 ICO craze, essentially 85 plus percent of every company that's out there, uh, is out there because of Fabian Vogelseller, which is the creator of the ERC20 token. He ended up branching off and creating his new, his own company called Luxo, and it blows my mind. It's so it's such a low market cap, but uh, they are going to be, be building a base layer uh, where anybody who wants to do anything with NFTs can go uh, and build off of their platform. So I'm real excited to see what happens with Luxo. Engine, just like Wax, doesn't need the cryptocurrency to survive or blockchain. They've been around for a very, very long time, and uh, they probably have the biggest partnerships out of any crypto company out there uh, when it comes to just knowing everyone in the industry. They're probably the largest player when it comes to uh, the crypto gaming industry for sure.
Next project, I just want to bring up sand. I actually don't hold some of these projects, but I like sand because I do think the game is really well built, and I do think it will bring a ton of people, not crypto, playing the game and earning sand, not really knowing what's going on, and kind of introduce them into the crypto world. And, uh, and I think the game looks really cool, and I'm excited to play it. And I guess that's it guys, um, I'm going to end the video right there and I really apologize for the lackadaisical nature of talking about those projects at the very end, but I do live streams every single Sunday so you can say hello, we can chit chat, um, if you do have any t um, uh, questions on any projects whatsoever, I may end up moving the time to later on, but it will be every single Sunday, so hit that little notification bell, subscribe, like, comment, engagement, I love engagement when people ask me questions and whatnot, so anyways, I really appreciate. Uh, everyone who's made it this far and uh, yeah I'll see you at the next video take care bye